completed uh, around 53,000 km in Mojo mm-hmm. within uh, two years. Oh, but, nice. Uh, so, I love to travel, like tour around the India. <laughs> I had done uh, around 10 times, more than 10 times, uh-huh. Bangalore to Trivandrum. <laughs> I have good experience in Mojo. I can't able to tell this, 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 this is <laughs> No, no, no. So, your, your age and your experience tells everything clearly. So, uh, that's what is Mojo no Mojo tribe is all about. Uh, full of different uh, no, uh, variety of experiences yeah. from people like Bala, yeah, like from a uh, kid of 80s and people of <laughs> like <laughs> Amal. <laughs> so, that's nice. So we have Murugan also, a new yeah. member in hey, the group. I, okay. Actually, I just joined the tribesman uh, from a few days after the so he introduced me to Rakshid and also Bala today. Yeah. And Atma, I think so. I have met him, but I have not been close to him. Uh-huh. Yeah, I have met uh, one time okay. before. So I speak to a lot of uh, tribesmen whenever I go to the, the showroom. And uh, I spend most of the time in the showroom, not in the lounge area. Yeah. They ask me to go sit there, have fun, and uh, if you want any drink, and they, they ask me. But okay. I always come and stand beside the. Uh, a mechanic Karthik. Karthik. He helps me out with how it works and how, what kind of uh, instruments or whatever the uh, parts will be. And he explains it. I ask him a lot of questions. He doesn't get uh, annoyed with that and he answers everything. Hmm. So it's because I have a lot of interest on my bike and I have to learn about it whenever I have to take care of it. Right. So I ask him a lot of questions and he answers it. And most of the time, I after that, I go to the next tribesman over that came here to uh, get his bike service. So I ask him how many kilometers you have driven, uh, written it, and uh, uh, what are the ter- terrain you have gone. And uh, they give me a lot of stories. Like right. so, you know, if you want to experience it, you should tag along with them, and you will learn a lot. Hmm. S- uh, staying in a city and working, and that that shouldn't be the life. There's a lot of more things are happening beyond your uh, imagination. Correct. So, and uh, I uh, actually met Sunil. So, um, actually, I had one and a half uh, ride, not on a mojo, but a different one. But he explained a lot of his stories, and I like, <laughs> I want to go along with him. Correct. That's his trick. Yeah. That's so, trick. if I'll go once along with him for a Right, mm. that next time I'll be going solo because mm. he is going to help me out and how it is going to turn. <laughs> right, and I'm sure I'm going for that. <laughs> thank, thank you, you. for uh, thank you, Murugan. Thank you. Important uh, thing I have to tell is that you know the technicians, yeah, yeah they are very, very knowledgeable. Mm. Seriously speaking, I'm a technical guy, honestly, mm. I understand things, but. The knowledge that they have is equivalent if they get an opportunity mm. they may even go to higher big bikes you know mm. that much they have the capacity knowledge right. especially people from bangalore chennai and Pune also mm. and the kind of customer support you know these guys like rakshit and uh, csk provide you know is amazing just one <coughs> word that is actually you can't you know explain just for one example i'll just say uh, i was just lubing my chain they were just sitting and rolling that uh, you know uh, wheel just mm. to help. That's mm. all. Mm. It's not just to, to come and do something. So being a territory manager, and he, he don't isn't mind supposed that. to do that actually. Yeah, yeah. but he did that. Yes. So this uh, is just an example. So how the people are uh, yes. bonded uh, with the owners actually. Basically, uh, so what we witnessed is like uh, each and every employee so far. What we met from Mahendra is not just an employee, or not they are doing it for a professionalism. Uh, beyond that, so they are the riders and they do rides uh, every week or mm-hmm. month actually. So, and they understand what we need exactly and uh, what we feel about uh, the issues or any other support what we need, right? So, they put themselves in our shoes and they'll think on it and they will support, start supporting us. But from my end, so I don't feel anything about like the resale value or anything because I'm not uh, planning to sell my bike at all. So I I, I do I don't even bother about the resale value, what it is going to be, because uh, to the each and every penny what I spent to get this bike, okay, mm. it is already just given the returns to me actually. Correct. So I have taken all the returns so far. Mm. So what I'm getting now is beyond uh, the spend what I gave. Mm-hmm. So that is how I I could explain elaborate this uh, uh, kind of experience. 
with Mojo, uh, the people who bought the Mojo so far, and who has an issue or who is looking for more performance and experience with Mojo, uh, do some finer, well, minor tweaks to your bikes. Definitely because the engine you cannot complain at all. Yes, there might be flaws in a design or few people they might not be comfortable with the design or what that has. Uh, that everyone, uh, because company cannot uh, satisfy each and every customer's uh, thought or expectation on the design part. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you can find uh, find a few uh, things in your bike, uh, like uh, likewise I did uh, to my bike, like I changed uh, the foot brakes to Himalayans. Mm -hmm. So because I weigh about more than 100 kgs and it has to withstand even in off road or any kind of terrain. So I used to saddle ride. Right? So, hmm. to withstand that weight, so I changed the uh, footpex to Himalayans. So, that just costed me like 200 uh, bucks uh, on site. Hmm. Uh, that is one mod. And second thing would be like a good set of tires because any roads, because uh, soft compound tires are preferable. But still, if you are an extreme rider and looking for any kind of terrains, go for uh, some better set of tires like Pirelli STR, Scorpion Rally STR. Uh, mm -hmm. this which is a very good uh, tire I would say because I've used it in my couple of rides so far I don't have any complaint about the tire any kind of potholes it can take easily and uh, there, there is no puncture experience in this tire especially uh, and there are tires <coughs> like even if you would like to go for a street tire go for a Michelin Pilot Street and that has some hard compound and with a radial uh, 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 pattern mm -hmm. so that also gives you uh, more durability uh, uh, in terms of like any kind of roads actually you can experience. So that is one thing. Uh, apart from this, so I changed my headlamps to uh, from a dual headlamp to a single headlamp. Mm -hmm. I fabricated myself and which I, I was very satisfied with the setup what I have now. So this, the, with these kind of changes, so I uh, uh, reduced the weight of the bike and uh, uh, because the engine, as I said, so engine is very good actually. Mm -hmm. It's a performance oriented engine where you will have a very smooth ride, where you will have a torquey ride uh, at any situation. So with these kind of changes, no, so my performance and what I expect, my expectation has improved a lot actually. Mm -hmm. I met what I expected so far and I am enjoying my rides, each and every rides. So with these changes you can also achieve what you are expecting from uh, any bike that you do. Mm -hmm. So keep going, so keep riding, okay, have a safe ride. Thank you so much Sunil and uh, thank you so much Bala for coming here and uh, wish you all the best for your onward thank journey. You. And you guys are real inspiration for all of us. Thank you. So thank you so That's much. Great work. Thank yeah. you. Thank, thank you. Lovely. And thanks Murugan for joining in. And uh, Amal, our chota bomb. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. And uh, last but not the least, El Mojo Tribe. El Mojo Tribe. <laughs> thank you so much.